Now, of course, all of this taking place in the midst of a pandemic, and those large crowds triggered a lot of concern among health experts. Our Dr. Frank Me George here with the steps you need to take if you're part of these crowds. Frank? First off, I want to acknowledge that I understand why people felt compelled to go out, but that does not change the fact that large public gatherings remain a high-risk situation right now. We know that the coronavirus is still circulating in our communities, and obviously many people in the crowds were not wearing masks. Furthermore, shouting is known to increase the rate of virus aerosolization, meaning more virus is being put out into the air than if you were just speaking. Now, on top of that, even if you were wearing a mask, there was no social distancing. Now, we also know that many people came from different areas to participate in these events, including areas where the virus may not have been as prevalent. That may increase the risk of spread in less hard-hit communities. Now, medically speaking, if you participated in any of these recent mass gatherings, it would be in your best interest, your community's best interest, and your family and close contacts' best interest to isolate yourself for the next 14 days until you're sure that you're free of infection. The incubation time is generally somewhere between 5 and 14 days, so you should watch yourself for symptoms, which can include fever, shortness of breath, muscle pain, sore throat, loss of taste or smell, vomiting or diarrhea. If you have any symptoms, you should immediately seek testing. Now, even if you do not develop symptoms, many areas are offering tests for minimally symptomatic or even asymptomatic people. And if at all possible, you should get tested after about 7 to 14 days from your exposure. Remember. You may not be symptomatic, but you can still spread the virus if you were infected. Back to you.